Hi, this is Lady Lex UK, and this is a Dreams Addendum tutorial. Um, I did a tutorial on a crouch mechanic a few months ago, and um, it wasn't really intended to be a tutorial on crouching. It was more to do with um, how to create a, a node so that you could um, turn things on and off, and it just turned into a crouching mechanic. And when I built it, um, I didn't experiment with actually trying to get underneath things. I just saw that it was in a crouch position and thought, that's fine, that, that works. He's now walking in a crouch position, that will be good. Um, but lots of people have told me, no, it doesn't work, this doesn't work, I can't get to work in first person, it, it's, it's no good. And I couldn't work out um, what the issue could possibly be. And um, now that I've experimented with it a little bit more, I can see now that um, I missed a little step. Um, with the crouch mechanic, but it's very simple to correct. So let's put our puppet down. Um, here's our puppet. This is going to be our third person crouch mechanic. So I'm going to go into the puppet logic, into the controller logic. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build the crouch mechanic as I did before. So we're going to take um, a keyframe. Uh, you grab the pelvis of your puppet, get him down so that he's low enough so that you can go under there. The archway, press record, and then we're going to add a signal manipulator to act as our toggle. And I'm going to use the L1 button as my button press to activate the crouch. And we'll turn that into a toggle switch like that. Right, so there we go. So I'll go into L1, I'll get him in crouch mode. Now he's getting in crouch mode. Now you would think, there we go, no problem. He's, he's managed to go under, but not in this direction. It's a bit weird. Um, he can go under from this direction, like that. But from this direction, he doesn't want to seem to go under. And it's like, what's going on? Well. The problem here is to do with the collision capsule. So if I go into the tweak menu, physical properties here, you'll see there is this little capsule that is the collision. And there's a few things that are wrong with the default puppet. First of all, you'll notice the collision doesn't include his head. So let's alter that straight away. So it includes his head. Um, otherwise, it this is when you get the situation where you can get the puppet's head will go into an archway and the rest of his body won't. Uh, so we don't want that. Uh, so we've 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 changed it. So that is now the right thing. But when we go into our keyframe, there we go. Now we'll have a look at the collision. It hasn't moved. The collision shape is not linked to the pelvis which you would have thought they would build it so that it moved with the puppet but it doesn't so you have to um, move this in order to uh, get the collision shape over the puppet when it's in that position and that's true for any animation so any animation where you're moving um, the, 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 the puppet's um, position so that it's slightly lower than normal or slightly higher than normal or whatever um you're gonna have to change this collision so uh, we're gonna go into the keyframe and go l1 and x so now i've got the record button on and i'm just going to change the vertical position to there press record and now then he'll go under that way He'll go under that way. And, uh, yep, he can't go under either side, I don't think. Yep, there we go. So that works perfectly fine now. Uh, let's try that in first person. So I'll get a first person character model from Media Molecule. Now, I can't guarantee um, other people's code whether this will work or not. It should. Uh, there's no reason why it wouldn't, but... Uh, you never know, somebody's code might interrupt it. So we're going to go into logic processing. Let me just shut down 
these we don't want to get confused about which puppet we're altering there we go um, I'm gonna go into the controller logic stick down my keyframe and again we're going to grab him move him down open up the tweak menu and we need to move the vertical position of this down now you notice that might be a little high so we can reduce the height slightly you might need to fiddle about with this depending on your puppet it's like hairdos and things you might have to fiddle about with it you might have to fiddle about with it anyway so there we go press record let's stick our toggle switch in so l1 single manipulator toggle wire to the keyframe Right, let's try this out. So there we go. I can't go under. L1. And now I can go under. Can't go under. Now I can. There we go. That's how to do a crouch mechanic. And it will work for third person and first person. I do apologise that um, I didn't realise this when I made it in the first place. It, it did not occur to me that Media Molecule had built a puppet that its collision... Um, uh, its collision box uh, didn't move with the um, with the puppet. It made no sense to me. But there you go. Hope that's useful. I'll catch you in your dreams.